Hello, this is Matt. I'll be talking about versioning for this how-to series. If you go to the document library that you're interested in working on, you can see in the breadcrumb trails that I'm in a document library right now. If you go to the settings option, if you have permissions for this, permissions could be set up by the IT department. If you want to modify some of those permissions, we'll be talking about that in a later how-to series. Document library settings, click on this. We'll show you under general settings, versioning settings, click on this. We'll see one of the document library versioning settings for this document library called Documents. We will not be talking about content approval in this how-to series. We will be talking about document version history, draft item security, and from a previous how-to series, we talked about require check-in and check-out. There are three options you could choose in a document library for versioning. You can have no versioning, you can have major versions, or minor versions. Minor versions are also known as drafts and they have the option of not being published. If I click on no versioning, you'll see here that these two fields are not selectable. If you click on major versions, only this item here gives you the option of selecting them. This gives you a chance to put in possibly 10 items uh, for major versions to be published. If you have 100 versions, it could be very difficult to get, a, get, get your head wrapped around what has changed in those documents. Um, also, if you have a document that's one megabyte in size and you have a hundred versions of those, it could be very large for the server because it is at that point a hundred megabytes that the server is keeping track of. You could do the same thing for major and minor versions, again drafts, if you want. You could keep the particular number of drafts if you want, so you could have maybe ten draft versions that you could be working on. You could also specify in draft item security who gets to see the draft items. Maybe you only want people to work on the item and not make it public for anyone else. So you could s make it so that only users can edit can edit the items. Anyone else, if you're not concerned about it, everyone can edit the item and view it as well. If you require documents to be checked out before they can be edited, you want to select yes on this. This is encouraged. It seems to go hand in hand with check in and check out and as well as versioning. So we'll just hit OK on this. So now we've set up that we want major and minor versions. We'll go back to the document library from the breadcrumb trail. And we'll just select a drop down menu for a particular item that I've already worked on. You can see I have check in and check out because this item is available. I could unpublish this version. I'll talk about that a little later. And I could also check on the version history of this item. And here you could see that I have some major versions as well as some minor versions. It initially starts out if you have minor versions at 0.1. If you start out in major versions, it starts out at 1.0. You could see who modified it. You could see the size of the document. Hopefully, they put some comments in. You could also see um, the date that it was physically saved. You have the option in here based on permissions, which the IT department can modify for you. Then you could delete all versions except this version, for instance, 2.0 or you could delete all minor versions. Maybe you want to get ready to publish a document library, a, a document um, in your document library. You could delete all minor versions so that the only version available is the published major version. You can also delete all major and minor versions so that the only document available is the last and final document that you want to work on, which in here would be the, the yellow or, or orange section. One good uh, way to check and see what's going on is the size. In here, if this document exploded to 2 or 3 meg, you could hopefully have comments specifying what happened in that. If you added some video, text, images, a couple pages, see who modified that based on permissions and what time they did that. You can also view the item. You could restore the item if you wanted to and unpublish this version. So this is a major version or a published version. If you're not ready for this to go prime time, you could select the unpublished version. You could see based on the comments that I've done that for this particular item here, and it took it from a major 1.0 version to a 1.1. It's not going to go back or go down. It's going to continually go forward. And the 0.1 um, is the selection that I have. I can go up to 10, and after that, um, it will stop and will continue um, from the top, and you'll continue at, at 10, and everyone from 1 continuing up will be erased. So we'll go back up to the document library using the breadcrumb trails up to the documents itself. And we'll select a different document here. And again, you have the ability to publish a major version 
or check out this document. Again, there's other options in here that we'll talk about at a different time. If you publish this major version, this gives you an idea very quickly and easily that indicator that this is not a major version yet. You can see in here that this is major or published version and you can unpublish this version. So there's a good variety of options that you have for versioning. Um, if you have more questions, um, feel free to ask. This concludes the how-to series on versioning. Thank you.